the WBC number one contender, Wayne McCulloch, British champion Drew Doherty, and Johnny Armour. Well, it's Armour we're about to see. He's unbeaten in 17 contests. Tonight, he's going for the European title. His opponent, Antonio Picardi of Italy. And at ringside at York Hall in London, a man who's already a European champion, Richie Woodall, alongside Jim Neely. Well, a tremendous atmosphere here in the York Hall and Bethnal Green. This is the fourth successive contest that this man, Johnny Armour, has been here in one of the most compact little arenas in the whole country. The last three times, it was a matter of defending his Commonwealth title that he's held for the past couple of years. But this really, for Johnny Armour, the man from Kent, is very much the big time. And can he fill the not inconsiderable shoes of Prince Nassim Hamed by taking this European bantamweight title? The referee in the middle, Marcel Lecode from France. So 12 three-minute rounds at eight stone six. And both Johnny Armour in the black with the gold trim and his opponent from Italy, Antonio Bacardi, now 31 years old. He'll be 32 in June. Scaled exactly eight stone six. But Bacardi was about a pound and a half over at the official weigh-in and had to do a little bit of hard work. And that may just weaken him. And if there is a weakness in Bacardi's armour, it's the fact that he tends to cut a little bit easily. And he's never been all that terribly good against a southpaw. And Johnny Armour, the reigning Commonwealth champion, is a very, very good southpaw. So Johnny Armour, the champion of the Commonwealth, hoping to add the European title and to follow along the same uh, path as the man beside me, Richie Woodall, who was a Commonwealth champion, still is, but of course he's now the European champion. So, Richie, you've done it all. It's there for Johnny Armour. Yeah, it is. They both started pretty cau cautiously, which is to be expected. Johnny just, just trying to feel him out with that, with that uh, right hand, that right jab. Picardi straight away, he's sending over the big right hand. He's trying to score with the right hand. Good work in the initial stages by Johnny Armour. Now 26 years old, former ABA champion, and gold medalist in the Canada Cup, also in 1990. 17 contests, 17 wins. The perfect record for Johnny Armour. This altogether, a bit of a step up for him against a man who's been in with some of the best. He's been in with Del Castro, he's been in with Thierry Jacob, and he's been in most recently with Prince Nassim Hamed who stopped him in three rounds in August of last year, that Picardi's last fight. And the French referee uh, said stop, and they just kept on going. Already a bit of swelling on the left cheekbone of Picardi, the man from Naples. A good work by Johnny Armour. The referee reckons Armour's doing a bit of pushing. A minute to go to the end of the first. 12 threes of eight stone six. And this really is a very tough division. Alfred Cody, the WBO champion. Nassim Hamed has moved up to super bantamweight. Wayne McCulloch's around, and so too is the good little Scott Crew Jockery. Well, Antonio Bacardi had a grin there. He was caught off balance. It was much as shove as anything else. But Armour looking as if he really means business. It was a nice short left hand actually just just caught the cardio off balance but it was a good shot it's a good confidence booster for Johnny Picardi has stopped five opponents but himself has been stopped uh, no fewer than six times armor's record of punching has really been first class good countering by armor and a lot of swelling around the face of Picardi, and there's Johnny Armour back in his corner. The Commonwealth champion, 26 years old now, 17 contests, 17 wins. 11 of those wins have come inside the distance, and five of those inside the distance wins have come in Commonwealth title contests. So a very impressive record by the man from Chatham in Kent, the Commonwealth champion, Johnny, Johnny Armour. His opponent, Antonio Bacardi, will be 32 years old in June. This is 36th professional contest. He's won 24, he's lost 11. But uh, this is his uh, 16th title fight. He's had 11 Italian title fights and four European challenges. And though he's lost all four, he really is a very, very difficult opponent for anybody. And tonight, his opponent is Johnny Armour.
three minutes of boxing gone into the second three. The vacant European bantamweight title at stake. Picardi. The main worry that his corner, and indeed any Italian support here have, is that he tends to cut rather easily. Armour's not exactly uh, been unblemished in that particular respect. And he's had a couple of hard fights. Armour's been down once or twice in his career, but he survived the win. Good fast hands by Armour, and already there's a lot of swelling around the left-hand side of the face of the Italian, Antonio Picardi. And that, I think, is a uh, fair testimony to good right-hand work by the sideboard Johnny Armour. Definitely. Johnny, when he's got a terrific jab, and he's been, he, he definitely won the first round, stinging him with that jab, and it's just brought up a bit of swelling. But Bacardi, he's not known to be a knockout man, but he's sending over a few hard right hands, and Johnny has definitely got to watch it. The Italian corner, spoken to by the French referee, Marcel Lecode, for a little bit too much talking. Oh, lovely combination from Armour. That's good stuff in the second round by the Commonwealth champion. Your call starting to bubble up. And Bacardi, nuggety little man that he is, five years older than the Commonwealth champion. Took a right and a left, and then a right again. And that's the best combination we've seen so far. That was a good attack by Armour. He, he, it's a positive move. Moving in again there with that, with that right hand. But it was a good attack, stamping his authority early on in the fight, which has got to be good. Good left hand to the body by Armour, and he's covering up well. McCarty looking fresh, and not looking at all weak by the fact that he had to lose a point and a half after the official weigh-in. There's that big right hand again. Johnny's just got to watch that. Armour now and again, he, he tends to move to the left a little too much, and he's walking onto that right hand. He's got to definitely watch that punch. This is Armour. In the black and gold, the man who won the vacant Commonwealth title in just his eighth professional contest. He's defended it on five times since then. Most recently on St. Valentine's Day, here in the York Hall in Bethel Green. Armour wants to use that jab more. It's all oh, clash of heads there. Well, that, I think, was accidental as they both moved in. But Bacardi, I think, doing the right thing, trying to move uh, in the clockwise direction to set up his right hand to counter the southpaw. Just a few seconds to go. Another good round for Armour, but one that Bacardi came back into a little bit more. Johnny Armour, back to the corner. And he looks... Uh, fairly impassively. He made his professional debut in September of 1990. The points went over a gentleman called Lupi Castro. And this man, Picardi, has been a professional now for some 10 years. November 84 against uh, Claudio Tanda. Now, this was the best piece of action. There's the right and the left. And Picardi did very well to get himself out of that. He slid away and slid down the ropes, and Armour couldn't quite cut off the escape route. And Picardi, good professional, came back inside and covered up well and got a decent right hand in there. So certainly not getting it all his own way, Armour, but a very good uh, piece of work by him. Antonio Picardi, his last two contests have resulted in defeat for the European title in August of 1993 against a very good European champion, Vincenzo Belcastro, his fellow Italian. And then August of last year when uh, the multi-talented Nassim Hamid stopped him. Johnny Armour definitely getting the measure of his opponent with that jab, setting up for the big left hand, that's what he's got to do, work away with the jab and hopefully a, a cut or anything could come off just a straight jab. Johnny Armour, no doubt, will be satisfied by a win of any kind. And his opponent is much more experienced, not just in terms of the number of contests, but in terms of the quality of opposition. Nice switching by Armour, just poking out the right hand. That was a good left by Armour. This was always going to be a good contest. 
And Bacardi hasn't just come here for the money. Definitely not. Bacardi, he's been here before. He's fought for a European title four times before. He knows what it's all about. He's took it up well and he came back at, at armour very well there. Yeah, Bacardi's lost twice to Belcastro. And before that, to a very good Frenchman, Thierry Jacob. There's that big right hand again, looping over. Midway through the third round. Armour's original opponent for this vacant title was to be the uh, former WBO super flyweight, Johnny Bridal from Denmark. And that might have been an altogether more difficult fight. But uh, this is not exactly easy, Richie. This isn't an easy fight at all, no. They, they aren't at this level, European and world level. There's no easy fights. You followed this path, Commonwealth titles, then up to European. How different was it? Um, I would say there is a fair bit of difference the, with the European countries. They are definitely um, more stronger boxers. Was, this is a good exchange of punches here. The Italians, even the French and Germans are very strong nations in boxing. And Picardi, if anything, is putting on the pressure. And he's trying to put Armour on the back foot. Johnny Armour has been down a couple of times. But he's come back to win in his uh, Commonwealth title win. He was behind in points. It was a good shot. And Armour interestingly stood back, let his man recover. Only about 10 seconds remaining, and I don't think Armour's got the time to press that home. But he did catch Picardi. And Picardi, Picardi, I think, complaining about the head. And he didn't like that at all. And that was a very good finish by Johnny Armour. And the York call really starting to simmer and bubble. But what a good uh, finish to that round by Johnny Armour. That was a great finish. A bit surprised that Johnny there not following in. Maybe a bit of lack of experience at this level. But um, I'm sure the corner will put him right on that. Well, he looks comparatively unmarked. He looks comparatively fresh. He has been cut a couple of times, Johnny Armour. But uh, he's got plenty of good men in the corner. It was a good shot by the Italian. And that left followed up very nicely indeed. And the armor himself thought, well, I've had quite enough of that. And that was a lovely short little left hand, delivered perfectly, traveled about six inches, spot on. Well, there's a nasty bit of a cut there at the uh, right at the corner of the eye, and this is what the Italians were desperately worried about. And it's uh, just above the eyelid, so it could be in a very, very nasty position. Antonio Picardi in the green trunks from Italy, a little bit on the slow side to come out of his corner. In fact, that's the fault of his corner man. It wasn't too athletic in getting away. Johnny's got something to work on now. Um, Picard has got a history of, of cuts, and um, we know it's not a very nice way to win, but it's just for the European title, and he can, if he works with that, that, that right hand, then the referee could stop it early, because the cut is in a bad position on the eyelid, the blood running into the eye, so... Anything can happen. Well, Picardi having come forward and put some pressure on Armour, seems now about to retreat. Good countering from Picardi still. That's good work by the Italian, boxing defensively from a good coach. Picardi oh. took up well there, and he's fighting off the defence. Last thing Armour wants to do is get a little bit careless. Picardi is very experienced and has a great range of shots. Tried an uppercut. There's that overhand right. And Armour was moving the wrong way into it. So Armour with the edge of the opening three rounds. Watch the heads from both of them. I don't think that's some liberal. I think it's just uh, a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, it's the way they're both boxing. They're both in there having a go and the heads are just accidentally clashing. Both small men, Bacardi slightly the smaller, but he does have a tendency as well to duck down, which uh, makes life a bit more difficult sometimes for Armour. He does. I'd like to see Johnny Stein using that uppercut a little bit more when he does duck down. What, what Armour's got to do as well, he's, he's got to pick his punches more. When, when he tucks up, he's got to pick his punches. That right hand of the Italian, the 31-year-old Antonio Bacardi from Naples, still dangerous. Remember the Italian, he's a very experienced man. He'll tuck up, he'll take the shots on his arms. And then 
hoped he would be hoping that Johnny Armour blows himself out. The Italian scorers seem to have done a pretty decent job on that what looked like a rather nasty cut on the right eyelid. Good work by Picardi. Back comes Armour. All the experience of the Italian starting to show. He gets under pressure. He's able to come off the ropes and turn his men. Yeah, he's working well, uh, Picardi. As I say, he's very experienced. And um, he's taking Johnny's shots, and then he's coming back with some good, good counters himself. Oh, good round of boxing. And this man looked to be under a fierce amount of pressure at the end of the third round. And although they're still a little bit worried about that eye at the end of the fourth, they know very well that he's very much in this contest. This is the fifth attempt of Antonio Picardi to win the European title. And they're having to work hard, and they stem the flow of blood from that cut at the end of the last round. And I think they'll be able to do it again. Well, no sign of uh, any problems there in the face of Johnny Armour, but they must be a little bit worried, I think, uh, about the ease with which he got hit occasionally. Yeah, look, that's that right hand. There it is, smack on the button. And those punches are definitely going to uh, take the toll. Well, there's a nose, which I think tells its own story. He's been around a fair few years. Once again, the... Uh, Italian corner man, a little bit in the slow side, getting out of the ropes. And the French referee waves them together. Antonio Picardi in green, the reigning Italian champion. Johnny Armour in black and gold, the reigning champion of the Commonwealth. And one of them will emerge in this contest as the bantamweight champion of Europe. On the Mustard moving more to the right. He's moving too much to the left, and that's when he's walking onto them big right hands. Armour shots falling a little bit on the short side. Picardi using the feet nicely, getting in and then out again. There's that jab, Johnny Armour's a great jab, should use it a little bit more. That's a good left hand. Lining him up with the jab and, and throwing the left and right on the button that was. A clash of heads there was in there, but that's more due to Bacardi's style than anything else. Good left hand by Armour. That was the best shot of the contest so far. Bacardi leans on the ropes, and sucks in the oxygen and has to come back again. That's better word from Johnny Armour. A gum shield has come out. And the referee is going to stop. That is putting armor. Nope. I thought he was going to put it back in again. So Picardi boxing without the gum shield. And boxing well. Armour avoiding the body shots, covering up nicely. My goodness, at 31 years old, Antonio Picardi's in great condition. They are brilliant condition. I think this is a last gasp for him. This is his last chance to obviously fight for that world title. The referee has uh, taken time out while the gum shield will be washed and put back in. I seem to remember in your European title fight you had a bit of a trouble with the gum shield as well. Yes, I did. Very foolish on my behalf. I didn't get it changed. I lost a couple of teeth and never got it changed. So Picardi with gum shield restored. A little over half a minute of this round remaining. The better one has been for Armour. That jab has been his most effective weapon, and the left hasn't been too far behind. A business-like performance in this round by Johnny Armour. It's better, better word from Johnny Armour. He's not just blasting away anything. He, he's, he's looking more and trying to pick his punches. And for the first time, signs of tiredness in the legs of Antonio Picardi. 
still is dangerous. And he knows that Armour can be and has been put down. Those shots coming over the top, Johnny Armour just got to just got to bob and weave a little bit more. Oh, what a great round of boxing, and they love it here in the York Hall and Bethnal Green. Well, he looks clear-eyed and he looks very focused indeed, Johnny Armour, and he put in his best work of the contest so far in that run that we've just seen. No sign of any uh, cuts or any slight marking at all. Hasn't even got a bruise on him. But it was some... There was some great work by Johnny Armour. And that was that left. He fainted with the right, and the left was perfectly delivered. And the experience of Picardi really showing because he made Armour miss. Good work by the Italian from a different angle. The southpaw right was out. And that came in right between the gloves. And once again, good footwork by Picardi. This the round to take us up to the midway point in this contest for the vacant bantamweight championship of Europe, the eight stone six division. Antonio Picardi has tried four times before to win this title, and the last for him he's been unsuccessful. Johnny Armour is quite sure, it is, I'm quite sure, will be to make it five defeats at this level for Picardi. And Armour seems to be picking up where he left off at the end of the last run. Definitely. Showing great signs of his boxing skills, Johnny Armour. He's a great little boxer. And I think he's the superior boxer here. And he should use those skills a little bit more. Obviously, Picardi, the shorter guy, he likes to get involved with the fight. In the Armour corner obviously know that Picardi does not have a great reputation as being a hard puncher. And Armour has taken a couple of his best shots and seems to have walked through them. I wouldn't say he's a knockout merchant, but I'm sure he does hit hard. The right hand by Picardi lacked the venom of some of the ones in the earlier round, so maybe that's a, a sign that he is tiring. Good work by Armour. Armour's defence is good, Bacardi throwing leather, but Armour taking it on the forearms and the gloves. And that cut seems to have worsened slightly. That, that will encourage Johnny Armour. There's that big right hand again. Well, a harder puncher like Alfred Cote, I think, would certainly worry Johnny Armour. And, uh, I see Mohammed having moved up to super bantamweight as another very, very hard puncher indeed. Yes. So uh, not the easiest division this one, either the 8 stone 6 or indeed the 8 stone 9 division. I think everyone's pleased that Nassim has moved up. It leaves the division wide open. The Irishman Wayne McCulloch is hoping for a crack at a world title. A man who had about a rare amateur defeat to Johnny Armour. Good left hand again, straight left hand Johnny Armour. And the right to follow up. Same as before, he showed him the right and then hit him with the left. Picardi wobbles. Almost got 20 seconds left in this round. Good body shot. That's a good jab. For full marks to Picardi. He came off the ropes, he turned his man round, and he unleashed a good left hook. An old pro. Well, this is a stunningly good contest. Both being warned about the edge, Jim. I think Picardi in particular, another good round for Johnny Armour. At the midway point in this contest, Armour, I'm quite sure we'll be ahead. The contest is being judged not just by the referee, but two judges, one from Denmark, yes, Andresen, and one from Finland, Erki Maronen. And once again, they've had to work very hard at this, uh, well, ring-worn face of Antonio Picardi. And there's the man who's been uh, inflicting a little bit more damage. It was lovely from Armour, and that was a, a repetition of one a couple of rounds ago, and it was perfect. 
just getting the straight left again that wobbled him and the referee I think saying that there's far too much water over the torso of Antonio Picardi so a little bit of time will be added on only a matter of a few seconds so the first half of this European bantamweight title fight has gone. Johnny Armour, the Commonwealth champion, has been in control for most of it. He's had to take a couple of hard shots. But by and large, it's been Armour's fight. That's good work from Johnny Armour. He's not going boring in. He's using his head and, and boxing very intelligently. Classic piece of southpaw boxing. Moving the right way. Trying as far as possible to keep away from his opponent's right hand that's where Picardi wants the fight he wants it close where he can get his shots out Picardi has cut once again there's a very nasty cut at the side of his left eye the Italians knew that he was uh, susceptible to that but he had a glance in his corner Picardi and the referees move around so he can see it and the blood is now streaming down the left hand side of Picardi's face and I think the heart has gone out of Antonio Picardi the referee says come on you're pushing and that's a very nasty cut, he's bleeding badly. This will give the confidence for Armour to move in. He's just got to keep tight, though. But Picardi moving in with a head. The referee is uh, speaking to him about that. Well, Armour has certainly cut him. Those stinging right jabs, I have a feeling will have done that. That right hand, he's definitely played the part on that cut. Well, the corner... We'll have an awful lot of work to do. There's about a minute and 15 seconds of this round remaining. And Johnny Armour may well be about to emulate the man sitting beside me, Richie Woodall, and adding a European title to a Commonwealth title. And the leaning on of Antonio Picardi is a fair indication of a man who's very tired. Yes, Armour, he does, he does seem to. Of his fitness. Yes, Armour is really working well here, and, and Picardi does seem tired. Those punches are taking the toll now. And on Johnny Armour, he's just got to keep tight and keep working and it'll come. 45 seconds to go and the referee is having look after look after look at the left eye of Antonio Picardi. Picardi getting closer now, he wants the fight close. Well, Armour is taking the shots. And Picardi is saying to himself, I'm quite sure I'm hitting this guy with my best shots. And the Englishman is not really being effective. Terrific performance by Johnny Armour. Biggest fight of his life and he's rising to the occasion. Well, Picardi's still there, the right hand still a potent, a potent force. Armour probing with his own right, trying to get through. Oh, great round of boxing. Now the doctor, I'm sure, will have a very good look at that left eye of Antonio Picardi. The corner have done a terrific job in stemming the flow of blood from the cut on his right eyelid, sustained after just a couple of rounds. But that one is uh, far enough out, perhaps, not to worry them too much. I don't think the blood is going to get into his eye and affect his vision, which uh, would almost certainly incur a stoppage. But it was... Uh, well, there's a bit of a, a bang together of heads and Bacardi trying to work in close and that may well have done it and from that point yes there's the little trickle of blood just appearing so it was an accidental clash of heads and not the right hand but Bacardi himself has not exactly been uh, too fussy where he's put his head Well, the Italians have not been exactly quick about uh, getting out of the corner. One of the Italian corner men, not exactly in the first flush of youth. Johnny Armour now settling down to that familiar pattern. And already that cut has opened up. That right hand, right hand again from Johnny Armour. That's the punch that's definitely doing the damage. And again, Picardi comes inside Armour's right hand, and again, there's a clash of heads. So you couldn't really say that the cut that opened up at the side of 
Picardi's left eye was done deliberately. Picardi still looking for that big right hand, Johnny Armour, still got a tuck up. He's still a very dangerous man. Every time Armour comes in, Picardi dips down to the waist and comes in off the ropes and his head goes into the face of Armour. Armour has been very composed. And in the Armour corner, Mickey Duff is, uh, as ever, having words with the referee about the tactics been employed by the Italian. He seems to be leading as much now with his head as he does with his fists. As the fight's gone on, Johnny Armour has settled down in his boxing beautifully now with that jab. He's boxing more like a champion. Italian corner has done a very good job because that uh, nasty cut has been reduced to a little trickle. The referee well, should... of Picardi going straight yeah. in there. Well, the referee has to speak to him about that. The referee must step in here and just warn him about his head because Johnny, Johnny he could cut Johnny Armour. There again. Picardi has to say that the hard foot is turned away. I think he said he's had enough. Whatever has happened, Johnny Armour seems to have broken his heart. And the will to continue has gone well and truly out of Antonio Picardi. He was hitting Johnny Armour with his very best shot. And there must have been a point there where he either decided he was getting hit too much or hurt too much, or decided he wasn't going to win this fight. And he's thrown it in. Yeah. Remember, you know, he's been in the game. He's 31 now. He's been in the game a long time. I think he'd give it his all um, up, up to this, you know, into this fight, and he could see it wasn't going his way, and he, he just threw it and thought, I've had enough. And you can't, you can't blame him for that. Well, there's a little cut, obviously, just on the eyebrow of Johnny Armour, and I think a lot of that was done by the head of Antonio Picardi. And Johnny Armour, beneath it all, has a little smile because he's now not just a Commonwealth champion, but he's the European champion. Now, this was the point where Picardi, I think, decided that the head would have to come into play and that was without a doubt a deliberate but and at that point he thought look I'm not going to beat you with my fists on my head so I'm packing the whole thing in definitely I think and there would... is the champion and a very worthy champion and Richie you know exactly what it means to be a European champion oh it's, it's everything fantastic I'm, I'm really pleased I'm really pleased for him Ladies and gentlemen, after 2 minutes 42 seconds of the 8th round, Antonio Bacardi has retired. The winner and new Bantamweight Champion of Europe, Johnny Armour!